Hello everybody, it's me, Green Beauty ASMR, and today we are back with a unique video, and not that different from a video I have done a very, very long time ago. A while back on my channel, I made a laundry folding video, and that's because I love folding as a trigger, like unintentional folding. And I made that video a very long time ago. And today we're back with something kind of similar. But this time, we're going to talk a little bit about these products. And then you're going to come with me as I do my laundry. And then we're going to end this video with some gentle folding. So, as you can see here, we have this brand Method. And many of you may have seen this brand or heard of this brand. I certainly have, and I have purchased this brand countless times over the years. And so, as you can imagine, when Method reached out to me to sponsor a video, I was very excited because I love this brand. It's something that I know, I know their, a lot about their company. I feel confident purchasing and spending my money on these products. But a couple of these things I've never used before, so I'm excited to give those a try today with you as we do my laundry. In today's video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my laundry habits as I go through and tell you about these products. Now, I'd like to remind you that most of these, so this one, this one, and this, I have never used before. And today, I'm not quite sure we're going to have an opportunity to use the stain remover. I wish, it, I wish it came a few weeks ago, as I had yellow mustard on one of my favorite sweaters. And I didn't have anything to help alleviate that problem. But here we are, we have this product and I'm excited to give it a try sometime. I think for today's video, we're gonna use the laundry detergent, the dryer sheets, and I think I would like to give the fragrance boosters a try. I have used, recently I purchased something like this from another brand. And I have to say, I was a little underwhelmed. It felt, or I mean, um, you know, the scent smelled very synthetic to me. So I wasn't really happy with that. So we'll give this a try today. I want to go back to the laundry detergent because this is the product that I have purchased myself um, multiple times. And it's interesting because this scent of ginger mango is not one that I would usually choose for laundry detergent. But I was at Target and you know, you open all the bottles and you smell them. I don't, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that. And I surprisingly was really drawn to this scent. They have other scents like spring clean and um, there might be uh, eucalyptus one or lavender. I might be getting that wrong, but there's several different scents. And of course they have a free and clear line as well, but I really liked this. And so, um, I had bought that and I liked it too because of how small it was, even though it does do 66 loads, it stores really well in my very small little laundry area. So anyway, moving on, so this, um, this laundry detergent I really like. It's not, it smells so good, but it's not too overpowering. So we'll see how that does today in combination with these additional products. I hope it's not too overwhelming. So we'll see at the end of the video, cause we'll give that a try. And just to take a note here, 
we have these dryer sheets that are also ginger mango and this is naturally derived static control and these dryer sheets come with 80 sheets and then looking here at this fragrance booster again in the ginger mango scent and it adds a burst of scent keeps fabric fresh for 12 weeks wow so with something like this, I would like to use these fragrance boosters on things like towels or bed sheets. Now I have used them on clothes before and uh, you know, I like it and I'll tell you about that in a minute because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up close with these yummy little balls here, <laughs> these little beads and we'll see how it sounds we'll see how it smells and i'll tell you why i have started using fragrance boosters now overall with my laundry so i'm just going to trace here as i tell you a little bit just about my laundry well my laundry habits really you know, I don't really have a set schedule for laundry. I just kind of do it as the, the laundry basket gets full. So we have one laundry basket in the room and that usually averages about one time a week. Now, sometimes, you know, if I am going somewhere, I want something washed, you know, something in particular, then I'm going to do more frequently laundry. Or if we have guests staying, of course, you know, that adds towels and the bed sheets and things like that. So usually, though, it's about once a week. And, you know, it's not too difficult for me to keep up with it because I purposely keep a smaller laundry basket that keeps me going with the laundry. You know what I mean? Now for the baby, I did get a little laundry basket for his room, so we'll see how that goes. So let's get this. We're going to move this out of the way. And the dryer sheets. I love this sound. A tropical dream ginger mango. And these are compostable fabric sheets, which is really nice. And you can see here, it says that it reduces static cling, leaves a fresh scent, which it does, softens your fabrics, okay. Biodegradable formula, that's important. And they're compostable, just like I said. Let's listen and look at these. So for fragrance boosters, I had just, I never really bought them before because I don't know, I never felt the need for that. But my husband is an avid cyclist. So he is always going through those cycling clothes. And similarly, when I was working out a lot, you know, now that I'm further along in my pregnancy, it's a little bit more difficult but I always had um, my workout clothes. And so what I wanted to do was, so, you know, sometimes using um, regular laundry detergent on fabrics like those type of things, you know, those synthetic fabrics, sometimes it's not the best to use on. So we also got a free and clear laundry detergent, like I bought that a while ago. And then I thought, well, I like my laundry to smell good, and I do. I'm so big on scents, as you all know. And so I thought, well, let's do 
the fragrance boosters so we can wash our workout clothes in our synthetic fabrics, remove them, and then we can add some fragrance to the rest of the load. So that's what I had done. I wasn't very happy with the product that I bought, so I stopped using it. So we're going to give these a try. But first, let's give these a nice listen. Here we go. They look like little Cheeto balls to me or something like that. They certainly smell so good. I love how this cap is shaped like that. Now, I probably wouldn't put this much in, and I think the bottle had called for two scoops or something like that, and I, I think I would do about half of this, and that's because I'm using already the laundry detergent and the dryer sheet, so I think I would feel like I have enough scent. So, let's see if we can get them in here. There goes a few. So a few of them spilled out. So let's pick them up together and count our way back into the bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, and we're going to put the lid back on. Of course, not until we listen to the sounds. Okay. I thought there was something else I wanted to tell you. Let us transition over to my kitchen, which is where my laundry or my washer and dryer live because we have a little home. And I will show you the load of laundry I'm going to do today and we'll put it in. We'll put the laundry detergent in and we'll get it started. And then I'll show you when it's ready to be dried. And then of course we're going to do some folding. So here is my laundry pile. So exciting to look at. It's mostly towels today, except for this here. That is a gown, like a hospital gown alternative that I got. I'm not sure if, it, if I'll wear it. I'm going to give it a try. Um, and it's all accessible for when you're in the hospital for things. So I thought it would just be more comfortable than the gowns they give you. So I wanted to throw that in. Otherwise, we just have towels today. And this is my washer. And it's stacked just like this. So that's how my washer and dryer are stored here in the house, in the kitchen. These were a lovely housewarming gift from the in-laws. So let's get the towels in the washer and let's get our detergent going and our fragrance booster. dish towels. Okay. 
These are towels, um, like beach towels, but we use them around the house um, for the dog if he goes for a walk and he needs his little paws wiped off. These are all pretty much those kind of towels. And lastly, these two. I like how these fragrance boosters are really small. The other one that I had bought, are they're bigger and it's more waxy looking. So I feel like these are going to um, disintegrate or melt a little bit more efficiently. Let's pour us about, um, we'll do half a cap. How's that? turn you just this way a little bit. Look at that. And we're going to turn it on. Now this does have a setting for towels, but I think today we're just going to do cotton normal. And that's what I do most of the time. Then we have the blinking light and we press play. Our clothes are all washed and now they're ready to go into the dryer and I must say I can already smell the wonderful scent of the ginger mango line with the um, detergent and fragrant fragrance boosters I can smell them it smells so good so let's load everything in This is that gown. I'll show you up close when we get to the folding.
And last are dish towels. Okay, checking the lint trap. We've got some lint. Okay, let's get the dryer sheets. Okay, so I've never used these, just like I didn't use the um, fragrance boosters. I opened the box, it says, let's see, to use, open the box and pull out a dryer sheet. Make sure you have just one. Tear it in half at the perforation to reduce the risk of blocking dryer vents. Toss both halves into the dryer along with wet clothing and dry as usual. For smaller loads, one half will do. Okay. They're so different. They feel very different than any dryer sheet I've ever used. Put that one back in. Okay. So we have our one. Look at how different this is. It's very thin. Okay, here's the perforation. And yeah, I wish you guys could see this up close. Let me see if it will focus for you. Yeah, so these are a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna put those in. Okay, those are in and we close the lid. Okay, so all of our towels are dried and we are now ready to do some folding. I had a little snack and watched a little bit of TV while it was drying. So I'm going to push this out of the way just a little bit. So I normally fold my laundry on this table. This is our dinner table. It's very small. It expands into a bigger size, but right now it's a small size. It's from Ikea. And I usually just do the laundry on here. I clean the table first. I mean, I'm always wiping the table down, but um, I just put the load on here. Sometimes I might sit on the couch and fold some laundry. Really just depends. But let's get started. So here we just have a dish towel. And you know what? I want to talk about the scent of these things. I thought that with using all three of those products, the laundry detergent and the fragrance booster and, and the dryer sheets, I thought that, that it would be a little bit maybe um, overwhelming, the scent, but it is seriously not at all. I'm super impressed with how it smells. It's not too much like I thought it would be. It's actually really, really nice. So I'm happy with that. And like I said earlier, I like for the towels and bed sheets to smell really fresh like that. That's something I really enjoy. So for the dish towel, as you can see, I just fold it in thirds making sure we have some straight lines here. And again, in thirds. So it looks just like this, nice and snug rectangle shape. And I store these under the sink. Here we have the second one going in and smooth, coming over and smooth, nice and tight, and coming in one 
and two. Here you go, just like before. So we have the two of them and I stack them just like that. Although these are probably gonna go hanging on the oven handle. So I wanted to show you this. This is a gown that I got on Amazon. It's by Baby Be Mine. <clears throat> this is a small medium and it is giant. But I had read that something you could do to increase your comfort while at the hospital is to get your own gown. And the hospital that I'm going to allows that. And so this gown is accessible for, uh, you know, feeding. So it has these straps you can easily undo. And then in the back, it has this area too that it can be opened up with these snaps. So we'll see. But I will say this smells so good and it's so soft now that it's really cozy. So I'm looking forward to having this on that day when I go into labor. So let's fold this. And for this item, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going to sort of gather it in half and just fold it in half like that. As you can see, nothing too fancy. This is just going to go in my hospital bag. Maybe it will make everything else smell so good and comforting. Okay, and I'm just going to go bring this in and do one and two. So there it is, nice and snug, and that's going to help me store it in my hospital bag, which is already pretty full. So there's that. We have another dish towel here. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. There's another one, it's just not dirty. Just as before, we go in one, smooth it. Now I like this kind, but it doesn't feel as absorbent as the other ones. And over just like that, coming in one and two. There we go. So it's very nice and snug. And this helps keep me organized under the sink. So for most of my large towels, I actually roll them up. And that's how I store them. So as I mentioned before, these type of beach towels we really use for the dog or for other um, miscellaneous things. Sometimes I keep one in the car for taking the dog to the dog park and things like that. Or if it's rainy, I keep one at the front door. <clears throat> so let's see if we can get these rolled up. And I store these in a little closet in the hallway where I keep other, you know, my cleaning supplies and things like that. So we just fold it in half hot dog style. So then it's just like that. And then I really just take one end and I kind of just do a little fold like that, nice and tight, and we begin the roll. Okay. Smoothing as we go. And I find for me, rolling like this, it really helps with the storage. And everything in our house is just more compact. So we have to be really smart and intentional about how we store our items around here. 
And as we come to the end, I'm keeping it nice and tight. And there you go. <clears throat> okay, so there's one towel done. We have it nice and snug here. We can see the print of the towel just fine. So I'm easily able to identify what item I'm looking for when I open the closet. Then we have this towel. And this one is one that we use. So these beachy towels were not really covered with dog or pet stuff. Otherwise, I wouldn't have washed them all together. They were actually not that bad. They were just damp from, um, from other things. So I was able to do the load together. So this towel uh, is from Target. In fact, I have an unboxing of these towels that I did a video on when we first got them. I really like them. They've held up really well. And the way that we store these is also by folding or by rolling. So I start just as before by folding it in half like a hot dog. I'm just loving the way these all smell and they're very soft, but not too much where sometimes, you know, with certain dryer sheets, if you use those, everything feels soft, but you also can sometimes feel like almost a residue or a film left on the item. That does not happen with this at all. So we fold it in half, just like I said, making sure the lines are nice and even. And to begin, I just take one end and fold it nicely and then begin to do that same rolling motion, nice and tight. keeping the towel folded over and smooth as we go. Okay. And there we have it. It's just like this. We store these on a shelf in the bathroom, which you've seen in the bathroom tour. And did I show you my bathroom in our bedroom? I don't know, but they're stored very similarly there as well. So they're nice and clean and they're nice and tightly rolled and it's so nice when you grab one just like that. Again, there we have it. <clears throat> nice tight roll. I always like to make sure that the 
more rough side is on the inside and the smooth side is the side that's exposed to us. So folding in half, doing my little fold at the end. And we roll. So these get a lot more use in the summertime when we go camping and things like that. Of course, these are more beach towels. Or when we go to, the, uh, to a swimming pool or anything like that, or, or if we go to the lake. And these towels are very absorbent. I think I got these at Target as well, some years ago. Okay, that leaves us with one last item. we use for us as well though you can see it has some some loose threading it's a little bit of an older towel but it still has a long ways to go so we keep it before in our last item we do that fold and we go gently when I roll I pull this like more snug kind of like that to create some tension and there you have it we have all our rolled towels ready to be stored where they belong each of them smelling very nice. Yeah. So there we go. I want to thank you all for watching very, very much. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this video, what you think of folding as a trigger or anything else that you want to share about your laundry habits. I'd love to hear about it. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.